Temple, I don't know the name. Narita City. Doing a long layover, very beautiful temple complex. Here. Yeah. And this uh, grand pagoda. Very cold compared to this where we were, compared to even California. Quite cold. It looked like somebody here didn't get enough sleep on the airplane, so a little bit camera shy. After visiting the uh, temple complex, uh, we walked a little bit outside of town, uh, bought a couple souvenirs and had a really nice uh, lunch, uh, but soon had to uh, drive back to the airport because uh, they had to go back to the United States. Cuban cigar. Morocco got this in England. We just had this. Maybe Margaret did so. Shmitsu-san! How are you? <laughs> Sorry about this. But we're sitting inside the Intel Fab. It looks like an Intel Fab. Because the lighting like that, Morocco here, are kind of like half drunk. Yes. Sorry that we're speaking. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers! Yeah! <laughs> Hello, your camera. <laughs> uh, the next day, Moroka took me to Hakone, a uh, famous for its hot springs. It's about uh, two to three hours drive from Tokyo. We actually got there uh, less than two hours because it was a weekday. Uh, there's a river and uh, some hotels around the town. Uh, shopping, and mostly for tourists, but it was nice. Uh, we had a chance to drive up the mountain saw a beautiful lake. Our uh, mountain hotel had a very nice hot spring uh, and here's the view from my room. Uh, the next morning, uh, before returning to Tokyo, we stopped by a famous uh, castle in this area, one of the biggest, uh, Odawara Castle. Although originally built in the late 
1400s, what you see today is mostly reconstructed in 1960, only 50 years ago. It's a construction of traditional uh, buildings and walls. In the inner layer is a lath, a, a, a kind of like a, a net, a screen of uh, bamboo reinforcement, an hour layer of mud, and increase the amount of lime until, until you get this final layer which is almost pure lime. This is how it's built. The uh, history of this castle included uh, many of Japan's uh, greatest uh, historical figures, including uh, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who took it over after a uh, three-month siege in the uh, late Sengoku period. He later on gave it to uh, Tokugawa Yasu. Inside the castle museum, uh, you can see a lot of historical artifacts from the warring period. Incidentally, uh, the great uh, Oda Nobunaga gave uh, Tomitomi Hideyoshi the nickname Saru, which means monkey, and we saw a few of them in the uh, castle's courtyard. <laughs>